Grace and peace to you from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, his Son, our Savior. I'm Pastor Fred Brom, and I'm the campus pastor that usually visits your campuses, but for now, we're going to meet with each other like this periodically, where we're going to share as though we're in a chaplain's chat and uh, share some devotional thoughts together. I uh, don't know how long we'll be away from each other in this way, but uh, be assured that I miss you and that I care for you and that I keep you all in my prayers as uh, we are doing all the best that we can to take care of each other during this extraordinary time. We wonder where God is in moments like this. Um, chaotic times, times of distancing where we aren't even able to support each other in the ways that we usually do where we're afraid and where circumstances create for us a sense of isolation and loneliness. But I want you to know that God specializes in chaos. In fact, from the very, very beginning in creation, he brought order out of chaos. And it was through our own disobedience as we decided to be our own gods that the chaos that we created and continued to live through throughout history was never without God's presence with us. I want to share with you a brief devotional. Some of you use this devotional uh, every day, Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And in there, there's a particular pertinent one that I think addresses for us some way of beginning to find our way in this uh, uh, difficult time. So we know that with Jesus Calling, Jesus is essentially talking to us, as Sarah Young writes, and we hear him say, trust me and don't be afraid, for I am your strength, I am your song. Think what it means to have me as your strength. I spoke the universe into existence. My power is absolutely unlimited. Human weakness consecrated to me is like a magnet, drawing my power into your neediness. However, fear can block the flow of my strength into you. Instead of trying to fight your fears, though, concentrate on trusting me. When you relate to me in confident trust, there is no limit to how much I can strengthen you. Remember that I am also your song. I want to share my joy, living in conscious awareness of my presence. Rejoice as we journey together toward heaven. Join me in singing my song. That song that we sing is a song of encouragement, a song of hope, a song that recognizes God's love for us. We see that song even illustrated to Joshua, one of the patriarchs of the faith, who was confronted with a really difficult task after Moses' death. And he was consecrated by God to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River into Canaan, the land that was to be filled with milk and honey. But how would they cross? And when confronted with difficulties and with tribes in Canaan who wouldn't want them to be there, how would they remain victorious? In Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, we hear God saying to Joshua, Joshua, I'm reminding you, be strong and be courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged. For I am the Lord your God, and I am with you wherever you go. So it's not by our own strength. We don't even deal with our own fears out of our own sense of a trumped up well-being. We bring ourselves before God. The God who claims this, I am your God. The God who cries out his authority over all things from the beginning, and who promises to be with us, even at his resurrection, 
assuring his disciples, I will be with you even through the end of this age. God's promise for you and me, one for all times, one for this day. May you know the strength of God in your heart, the peace that he brings that passes any understanding that we might have, relying on his source of strength, his authority over all things, we're not in control, but he is. Thanks be to God. And now receive this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of Christ be with each of you this day and each day as we continue to meet.